now I know what a TV dinner feels like. Come on, tell me already. Oh no. What happened? He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to DC. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. Nah, people don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In fact, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Um, besides me and my Papa, there was Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his Mama and Papa, too. I guess they're all gone now. Come on, tell me already. Nah, go ahead. He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead, but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. Nah, he was a nice man. But he never wanted to play with me very much, and we barely talked. All I know is he was all gone when the ants started showing up. I think they got him too. I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man too. That was kind of neat. He spent all of his time in that shack, next door to my house. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny-looking TV machine with the green words pushing buttons. Well, they're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. My papa would always say they're fucking ants. Well, that's what he used to call them anyway. I just call them fire ants. My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things. But he said they were the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. He kept telling everyone to shoot for their antenna. Whatever that means. Nah. No. Those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town. And, well, you know the rest. You startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that.
Well, yes, I suppose I am. Uh, Dr. Weston Lesko's my name, and it's uh, good to make your acquaintance. Uh, what brings you to my little experimental ecosystem? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist, how marvelous. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? My word, you understand perfectly. How marvelous! Well, this is rather embarrassing, so you'll have to forgive me, but it appears that I've made a slight miscalculation in my mutagen samples. Instead of lowering the size of the ants, the brood hatched and developed a, a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but I can't get near my equipment. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. No, it should all wrap up rather nicely. I've rigged my equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So, that's all there is to it. What do you say? You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Finally, a chance to recant my mistake. How marvelous!
I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Then I will proceed to my... How marvelous! Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant might? How marvelous! Ant might it is! Hold still, please. So weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did, but I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way and I'll have to try living here by myself. Hope you'll come back and visit someday. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me. Well, papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant ship somewhere or something. Papa called the place Rivet City, but I don't know where it is. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for... Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe oh that's wonderful if you ever wander back into rivet city why don't you check up on us you're always welcome hey there i hope you found me a place to live you really found her oh thank you so much i can't believe everything you've done for me most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometime.
my word, is that what I think? Oh, my goodness gracious. Seems like you've been gone forever. Please tell me you have good news. Oh, my goodness. I must see it, please. Oh, my. It's more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. I can't thank you enough. I wish I had something to give you, a more suitable reward for all your efforts. All I can give you is the frequency to my radio set. Tune in whenever you feel like listening to the strains of an old woman's violin playing. Hannibal says I gotta let folks like you in, but that don't mean I have to like it. Keep your hands in sight and don't make any sudden moves. I'm coming down to open the gate. Oh, I'm starved. I hope there's a... Ah, a visitor. Welcome to the temple. I'm not going to ask you who you are. For the moment, I don't care. We are all escaped slaves. I need your solemn promise not to betray us. Until I get that, you cannot leave here. So, do I have your word? Welcome, brother, to the Temple of the Union. Our home is your home. Your past is your own affair, so long as you serve our common good. As a symbol of our trust, here is a key to the gate. For 23 years, I was a slave, ever since I was 14. Six years ago, I managed to escape from my master. He's been hunting me ever since. When I found the head of Lincoln here, I knew it was a sign for me to help other slaves to escape. I founded the Temple of the Union as a safe haven for runaway slaves everywhere. We are trying to make a safe haven for all runaway slaves. We give food and supplies to any that find us and help them on their way. We don't have enough room. There's not enough water or food here. But I have a plan. A plan to take over a place that will be a shining beacon of hope for all slaves. I want to move all my people to the memorial site for the great Abraham Lincoln, but I need to know if it's safe. I've heard rumors of super mutants infesting that area, though. We need to send someone to check that out first. I was hoping you would help us. The memorial is easy to find. Good luck. One other thing, talk to Caleb. He'll need your help. We can't leave unless he's ready too. Enough Time to eat. I have to keep my energy up. Come, boy. If you're good today, I'll give you a treat. You're new. I'm Caleb. If you're going to be staying a while, I could use some help. Hannibal told you about Lincoln's memorial? Well, he doesn't just want to live there. He also wants to restore it. Make it so people tell stories about it and the word can get to the slaves. But I can't restore something if I don't know what it looked like. I need a drawing, a photograph of it. Yes. There might be one in the Museum of History. Alejandra says they have a special exhibit all about Lincoln. Long time ago. Eight years, I think. Three of us escaped during the night. They caught Lysel and John. I made it into the wasteland. Raiders took me in at first. When I heard about this place, I knew I had to come here. I hope you succeed, stranger. I can't wait to set up a school for freed slaves.
What are you doing wandering around here? Curiosity? Mr. Walker is waiting. I'm Leroy Walker, and you're probably wondering about what we're doing here. You're a sharp one. We're from Paradise Falls. We're hunting runaway slaves. Have you seen any? You are really st Lucky for you, I don't have time. I really shouldn't, but if I ever see you around You have a picture. You are truly a good person. So many others refuse to help us. And we are grateful for it. Everything is done? I can hardly believe it. Ah, it is? What? They must have found out our plan somehow. We are truly grateful for your intervention. Now we can proceed with our plans for the memorial. His actual rifle? Such a... Pr you must let me have it. I'll give you... We will enshrine them. It's we will enshrine May the spirit of the great Lincoln protect. Oh, come on.
given me a lot to do. You are truly a good person. You have been good to your word. You are welcome at the Temple of the Union any time. Take these schematics as a token of our gratitude. Later. So many others refuse to help us. Now, fool, tremble before the might of the antagonizer. You'll never get away with terrorizing this town. Not while it's under the protection of the Mechanist. You and your pathetic tin cans are no match for my army. <laughs> the citizens of this town have nothing to fear. The Mechanist is here to protect them. Ha! We'll see about that. Attack, my ant soldiers. Destroy this fool and his tin toys. Go forth, my senses creator. Face it, Mechanist. Humans and their toys are done for. They killed themselves off with their petty wars. Humans are weak sometimes, but our creations are strong and pure. Some of them will never be. Humanity's creations were the seeds of their undoing. And now, the world will belong to the antagonizer. Not while the world is protected by me, the Mechanist! Your reign of terror is at an end! Are you alright? You aren't hurt, are you? I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. Name's Roe. Uncle Roe to most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth... That must be the 20th time I've seen those two go at it. There are problem citizens, the Mechanist and the Ant Agonizer. A while ago, we were attacked by the Ant Agonizer. That woman with the ants, obviously. The Mechanist saved the town with his robots. That was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. Oh, that's terrific! I knew you'd help out. Knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. Find where the Ant Agonizer and the Mechanist hide, and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility, and you'll earn 200 caps. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. Great! I'm relieved to know the situation will be quickly resolved. Let me know if I can be of assistance to you. Oh, and please, do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in the streets. We don't need another. If it'll help, I'm glad to. But one day there was a crazy woman leading a bunch of ants into town. She said humanity was dead and the ants would inherit the earth, stuff like that. Well, that gave Dom plenty of time to line up a shot or two on the ants. She ran away, but every once in a while she'd stage an attack again. She wasn't much of a threat then. In fact, she was sort of entertaining at first. Gave everyone in town something to talk about. But when the Mechanists started fighting her, things got bad. Ants are easy to shoot, but add robots with lasers, it got real nasty. The Mechanist used to be our town mechanic, Scott Walensky. Quiet guy, but plenty fierce with a wrench and some solder. Guy used to take care of a robot that protected the town, until it got torn up in one of the Ant Agonizer's lame little attacks. I guess he took it personal, because he made a mechanical suit and called himself the Mechanist, said he would lead a robot army to fight her. Now he doesn't even respond to his name, and his robot army is more dangerous to the town than the ants ever were. Just stumbled into town? We do our best. Well... You mean apart from heaven? One of the traders told me she sounded like a girl he used to know. Girl's whole family was wiped out by ants. Not long before. But they never found any trace of her body. Said her name was Tanya Kristoff. That might just be our little antagonizer.
Newcomer to town, huh? Sounds like a good... Bro hired you to put a stop to their shit, did he? Guess he finally listened when I told him I haven't got the time. It's easy enough to hide and... You mean Scott Walensky? I refuse to call him by that ridiculous name just because his head got a screw loose. He used to be a damn good friend, and not just because he fixed my guns up. Now he spends all his time up in that bot shop just thinking about fighting that antagonizer. Hardly even recognizes his own name anymore. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Fine. Hi. Whatever. I'm Machete, and I've got better things to do than talk with you. Scram. I know Dom doesn't want me just killing them. He and the Mechanist used to be friends or something. All I know is, next time they come to town, I bet I could solve the whole problem with one bullet for each of them. So at last, you've penetrated the court of the Antagonizer, Queen of all ants! Were you sent by that meddling mechanist? He'll learn that no one can stand before my royal regimen of fighting ants. Explain yourself. Why shouldn't I have my pretties kill you where you stand? Ha-ha! You would walk here and presume to command me? Humanity's time has come to an end. Your kind died because it knew only petty bickering and wars. But not so, the noble ant. It works with its brethren, knowing only loyalty and duty. And this is why they have grown, while humanity crumbled. Once I've finished with that pathetic mechanist, I will be free to spread my colonies across the wastes. You're wrong. Humans are cruel, hurtful beasts. They can't be saved. We can't be. I can't. I can't go back. But I can't keep doing this. I can't be as bad as they were. Not if someone like you believes in me. Please, I, I think I've made some terrible mistakes. If you really think I still have a chance, just let me go. I'll give you the suit. No one ever has to see the antagonizer again. Just please. Let me have another chance. Thank you. I, I don't know how I can... Just thank you. Well done. You have defeated the vile antagonizer. And you've brought back her suit, so that we may destroy the last taint of her villainy. Hand it to me, and I'll make sure that no one else can ever bear the mantle of the foul antagonizer. Quickly then. Evil never pauses to contemplate its actions, so I see little reason that we should either. Is... is that true? Have I really become a bigger problem for the town than her? Am I really the villain here? Does this mean I should stop myself? I... I guess I could just give up my suit and stop being the mechanist. But I couldn't feel after causing that much trouble. Here, please, take the suit. I don't want to think about it anymore. That fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? 
Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all, of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure? Most of the caravan... We've got good... That's grand. I do believe it's fair to say you've saved Canterbury. And unlike that mechanist, you did so with significantly less stress all around. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services rendered, and a little bonus as a special thank you. We have someone new in my Republic. I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? You are? Excellent. It's good to see that the Wasteland has finally recognized the Sovereign Republic of Dave. If the people of the Wasteland are generous and respectful, I might deign to annex them. There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? Ah, a How much radiation have you been exposed? My, although I also inherited my political. All right, sure. Well, I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today, so I cinch the victory. Not that I have anything to worry about. The people know who their leader is in this republic. Of course I voted. The election is still going on. That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old. Rosie, Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. Anything? Very. Man, Dave says you're okay? Fine. You should talk to Dave, but... That's President Dave to you, Wastelander. He takes care of all of us. Even that selfish Rosie and her brats. My children will be a lot nicer than her. All I have to say is Dave is my husband. Mine. Do you understand? I First wife. Rosie is the second wife, since she's the oldest and not good for anything anymore. President Daddy. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. Sure, honey, but don't make it too long or Dave will start wondering why we're talking. Well, yes, Dave and I were married when he was wandering the wasteland, before inheriting the Republic from his father, Tom. After Ralph was born, Dave said that the President of the Republic needed to repopulate the Wasteland. So, now we have a second wife. Huh. Dave is a good man. He looks after all the children and ma He has our Shauna teach classes to the younger ones. She's over at the Museum of Dave to the west of the Republic. Not much to say, really. I'm Dave's wife, or first wife, I guess. 
I've lived here for mm, many years now. We have plenty of food and water here. In the co I'd like to see more trading done with the local caravans, but Dave's afraid their outside influence could weaken the Republic. Election time is always exciting around here. Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. You're right! Dave's just been pushing me around. It's time for a change. You're right. I'll go right now. The Wastelander who wishes to see you, sir. Fingers crossed. Dave says you're okay? Poor girl doesn't stand much of a chance, does she? No way. You'd have to be... Hey there. Are you gonna play Republic with us? President Daddy says the people from outside the Republic are bad. Hey there. So, Dave gave you the okay, huh? Well... Welcome, then. I run the Museum of Dave, where the children of the Republic can... Sure. The Museum of... Dave revised the restrictive marriage laws of the King... Multiple marriages is now considered one of the great free freedoms of the... President Dave is the savior of the Wasteland. If you would like to learn more, please... Me? I just run the museum and teach class. The Republic of Dave offers a rich history rivaling that of the great nations before the war. Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. Absolutely not. In fact, I'd vote for Dave twice if I could. What is it? Come on, I don't have all day. Shauna runs the museum, not... Yes, he does, and they're both pains in my ass. Always got to keep them in line or else they get all teary. Dave made me second commander of the army of Dave, and that means I get a gun. Don't make me have to use... All you need to know is that I'm second in command next to Dave, so don't bother me. And don't talk to Rosie or Jessica either. Those are Dave's wives, and they have work they need to do. Dave is in charge. So I've heard. She couldn't possibly think that she'd be better than Dave. Man, I'd love to be the president. Everybody would have to listen to me. And, but there's no need for me to run. Yeah, I'll show them. When I'm in charge, everyone will have to say I'm as good as Dave. Better even. Fine, I'll get out. Out with it, Ambassador. An opponent? Seriously? But... But... Wait. Let the people make their choice.
Yes? What can Good. The vote... Let's see what we have here. A vote for me, and another vote for me. A vote for Rosie? Wait a minute. Has somebody tampered with the ballot box? Hmm. After counting the votes, the president is... Rosie! Rosie can't be president. No. This is unfair. This can't be. Fine. I'm leaving. See how you people do without me. Enjoy your new president. Good to see you. Well now, who could have ever thought? Me, President! Huh, things are really going to be different around here. Listen, I can't thank you enough. You convinced me that I could do this, and you were right. I want you to have something. Dave kept some big weapon or something locked up in the safe in his office. The code is 1138. It's yours if you want it. We don't need it anymore. Dave says you're okay? Fine. Rosie's going to be the new leader? What will Dave do? And I get to decide what qualifies. Are you kidding me? You've never heard of Paradise Falls? What? Up there we sell the slaves that we capture out of... Yeah, well, you don't like it? You... Yeah, don't let any bullets hit you in the ass on your way out.
about it. I'm fine right where I am. Thank you very much. Keep your plans to yourself. Oh, jeez, Mongo, this is crazy. We're gonna run for it. You come... Are you serious? You wanna die here? In this place? A an old good-for-nothing slave? I mean, come on. This place is terrible. Pl Free... There's so much more to... What do you want? Make... Now's our chance. Bronson boy. Hey, you wanna see something funny? All... Ain't had enough to drink, King. Now that, that... Oh! Oh! What? Oh? Him? What? Thanks for getting us out of there, Mungo. We're gonna head back home now. I'd think twice about coming back here if I were you. These guys aren't going to forget you, you know. <laughs>